ओके सो हेलो एवरी वन आई एम हर्षल जैन एंड वेलकम बैक टू गीक्स फॉर गीक्स सो फ्रॉम टूडे वी आर गना स्टार्ट विथ अ वेरी न्यू प्रोजेक्ट सो दिस प्रोजेक्ट इज एज यू कैन सी द टाइटल इट्स मर्न मूवी बुकिंग ऐप ओके सो इफ यू हैव एनी डाउट्स यू कैन आस्क मी आई डेफिनेटली रिप्लाई दैट ओके जस्ट अ मिनट सो इन दिस प्रोजेक्ट वी आर गना कीप application in my uh, in mind so i'll just take reference from book my show website okay we'll build something similar to that okay so you'll get an idea i'll just show you so what we'll do is in this application we build a movie book booking uh, website like for example you'll get the latest movies and a banner if you click on that movie then you get a page for booking seats okay you can select seats manually right like you press the seat and it becomes green so we're going to apply that logic and then after that once you select the seats the payment would be done and most probably we are not going to use any payment gateway because right now i am facing issues with the payment stuff but still if i approve it till tomorrow or till we end this project definitely i'm going to add the payment gateway too okay so yeah after uh, just uh, selecting the movie then you have the payment gateway then after that you'll be saving to database then you'll be saving it to users database also that means they have booked the movie so they'll get the data in their database okay and we'll do one more thing once you book any ticket you get a qr code okay so we'll do the same thing whenever you are showing the ticket to someone okay in the ticket counter we'll be generating a qr code as a ticket okay so we'll be showing that so any uh, counter can generate can just scan with their admin app then they can make the changes okay we are going to do that later on and uh, scanning part won't be done definitely because for scanning you would be needing mobile phone and different things so that would be something else but yeah we'll try we'll try some logic for the scanning part also if we get time right so our main goal is to first of all book the movie save the save it to the database user database then we can get the movie in the user database according to the schedule and things like that if the schedule is passed the movie ticket would expire okay it's like that so uh, let's first of all clear some doubts so someone is asking bhaiya i want to ask one question on how to improve our front end development skills like which website we can use for any other resources uh, like personally i never follow any single website what i did was when i was learning front end i tried to build as many projects as i can okay as you can also see at geeks for geeks also i'm continuously building projects so these are what these are actually enhancing my skill okay i don't know everything but i still search on google and i find that logic so the best way you can learn the front end part or the back end part or anything in web development specifically is just build projects you know enough theory you know what does flexbox do you know what does grid do uh, you know different css properties but how to apply them for that you're going to build some projects okay because you can't learn uh, these uh, logics everywhere okay you'll get the properties and different things but you can't understand the logic there are resources like you can uh, use there are resources like you can actually use one thing uh, like uh, i had a website um okay just a minute for react js i think i have a website let me just show you so react styles i'll just search for it and i think we have let me just search for it i forgot the name okay styles uh react i'll just search for something like react uh napper styles for example you want to design something in react just so you can see first of all you can use uh, this uh, material design material design is different you can't learn proper designing with that it's just that you're imp you're going to import those libraries and packages then you can use material design but what i can say is here you can see we have an example so you can just use these kind of examples if i visit this you can see if you want to build some kind of ui you can see these resources okay they are not teaching you anything from scratch if you want to learn properties pro uh, learn proper web development i would always suggest build things from scratch okay you can always use this and personally uh, like in my videos also in almost every time i build things from scratch i don't use these uis because obviously i can copy paste easily i can use bootstrap i can use uh, different things but what's the point okay what's the point so definitely if you are a good developer you can copy paste things but i would suggest try to build things from scratch and then you can search your queries on google instead of copy pasting any ui but yeah still if you want to follow something for react js you can follow this website it's good and there are different websites not any specific okay 
so can you show some demo actually i don't have the complete demo so for that what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna just show you book my show website and from that i'm gonna take reference then i'm gonna show you my plan okay so let's go to book my show so uh, if you are from india you know this website right so this is for movie booking so we're gonna build similar things okay not the streaming part you can see right now they are showing the streaming also like right now you can watch things like uh, in netflix shows movies similarly book my show is also now right now showing some movie okay so my project on how to get vlog by by back in express can you please elaborate what you're trying to say shakib i'm not able to understand what you want okay so the first thing is it would ask for your location so suppose if you select some location for example um, i'm gonna select mumbai okay so it will show theaters near to mumbai so that's what we are gonna decide first of all at the top you are gonna have some things okay some by the way your teacher style is really good thanks <laughs> thanks and thanks for watching yaar. it means a lot like you all guys watch so it definitely takes some courage because yeah these teams are actually really long i can totally feel that at least one hour per session is there so it takes a lot of patience to actually watch those streams listen things carefully and then later on code along with that okay so yeah this is it. this is it you can see that first of all you will be seeing some banner then you'll get some latest movie okay so let's go for i, I won't choose the none okay instead of that let's go for javan okay by the way, have you watched this movie? Please tell me, please mention that in the comment or in the live chat, right? So you can see, first of all, you see the movie page and some details about the movie page. Now we have the button for book tickets. So uh, we are going to skip this part that is 2D, 4D, X, M, uh, IMX 2D because this is going to take something else. But yeah, even uh, I'll just pass an object in my database. What kind of theater you have? Okay, so for example, we selected 2D. Okay, so you can see we have an option for selecting the date. First of all, you're going to select the date then you can actually have this filter then you can actually see these are all the theaters available in mumbai so i'm gonna select my show for example i'm gonna select this show so it would take me to this page okay so you can see here we we have a pop-up for selecting three seats four seats suppose i want to select five seats okay then you get the rates select seats and here you can see that right now you can see uh okay so we have some best seller option okay you can see they have some best seller we are not gonna use this we're just gonna show three flags here first flag would be available selected or sold okay three flags here for example i'm gonna select these three seats okay these five seats okay so you can see automatically five seats are selected then you will go to the payment page okay then you will accept then uh I won't be taking the popcorn. Let's see if we can take the popcorn because we only have limited sessions. So we are going to skip this part. Okay, not the popcorn part, not the combo, uh, combo part, but still let's see. Let's see. Okay. So here you can see after that, you will get an option for payment gateway. Once you will proceed with this, can see we have to pay this. Okay. So it would ask for some details instead we would what we would do is we would first of all log in with the user and with the same phone number we are going to generate the upi for that okay so automatically the user would generate the upi and we'll connect a payment gateway later on that is you can use a payment gateway like razor pay or different kind of payment gateway once everything is done what you can actually see is after the payment is done you will see your tickets either you can screenshot your ticket or something like that or what you can do is i am watching from pakistan okay nice that's great okay so once ticket is booked everything is done you have the ticket but if you want to see your ticket that is also available in your user database that's the complete overview of this project definitely there are a lot of more things which you can add but since we have limited number of days for this project so we're gonna work accordingly okay so today is just an overview we're just doing some overview part and then just we're gonna just do some setup part right so this is the reference which we are gonna take so you can build your own logic you can add more things but what we're gonna do is in the past project okay that is we covered the blog application right so in blog application i created a lot of similar apis like for example i created the login sign up uh, and then we had some more things like setting up the, of the database different kind of things so we're gonna refer with that okay i'm gonna use those apis so if you don't know what's done in that project i'll just suggest you please watch at least the back end part because the back end part is very important okay so you can actually visit here then you can go to the playlist 
okay so here you can visit this and here i think in the this session okay in this session i actually covered the whole back end part okay the whole back end part this session and the day 4 okay in these two days i have covered the complete back end part so please at least सर आपका बैक एंड कोर्स ले रहा हूँ 15 डेज वाला क्या बैक एंड सीखने में फ्लटर के साथ यूज़ कर सकता हूँ येस डेफिनेटली यू कैन यूज रिएक्ट लाइक लाइक सॉरी सॉरी डेफिनेटली यू कैन यूज नोट जेस एक्सप्रेस एंड मॉन्गो डी बी विद द फ्लटर फ्रंट एंड ओके बट आई वुड ऑलवेज सजेस्ट लाइक यू आर लर्निंग फ्लटर दैट्स ऑलवेज ग्रेट दैट्स अ ग्रेट थिंग बट इफ यू नो रिएक्ट जेस देन आई वुड सजेस्ट दैट इट वुड बी ईजियर टू यूज रिएक्ट नेटिव इन स्टेड ऑफ फ्लटर बिकॉज यू नो दैट रिएक्ट जेस एंड रिएक्ट नेटिव आर सेम इट्स जस्ट दैट रिएक्ट जेस इज यूज फॉर बिल्डिंग वेबसाइट एंड रिएक्ट नेटिव इज बिल्डिंग फॉर मोबाइल एप्लीकेशन ओके सो दैट्स दैट्स अप टू यू बट इफ यू लर्न इफ यू आर लर्निंग फ्लटर दैट्स ऑल्सो ग्रेस यू कैन यूज नोट जेस एज अ बैक एंड फॉर दिस ओके दैट्स नो इशू फॉर दैट Right. I have built projects by watching your videos. Your way of teaching is unmatchable. Love you. Thanks, yar. Thanks. <laughs> okay. So here you can see. I would always recommend please at least watch these two videos because they are for the back end part. Okay. Very important because we are gonna take reference from these APIs. We have created some APIs in these videos, these two videos. So we are gonna take reference from these two APIs. So that would save a lot of time to us. Okay. We are not not gonna build login sign up again and again. Waste of time, right? we have other things to do okay so that's what you have to watch till the next video now after that what else do we have is i'll just explain you the plan in short so i have just created a plan and i would always recommend whenever you are creating any project please create a very like any any at least some minimum plan okay at least some minimum plan okay so you can see it looks like this and here you can see that first of all i just uh, first of all it's the movie app in one then you can see what i want to show as a ui so you can see i want to show nav bar authentication part that is login sign up then latest movies i want to get latest movies then i want to show the banner in home page then i would create a specific movie page in that movie page we are going to uh, ask the user how to book tickets and they will book the ticket then payment gateway then save to database then you will get the ticket right now after that we will have one more thing that is the profile part so profile part would be actually showing you uh, like first of all you have any upcoming booked tickets so it will show you upcoming shows and also exp expired shows that means any movie you have wished watched before or your ticket was cancelled things like that so whenever you click on any ticket that is upcoming shows any ticket which you have booked you have paid so it will give you a qr code along with the ticket details okay so we are going to create that and it expires after the movie ends or the qr code is scanned once okay this logic we have to do separately this is something separate and i think it would take some other logic i think we can do this by simply saying that suppose for example this is this is the qr code which we generated right so this is some qr code okay this is some qr code so i would just say that suppose this is my ticket and somebody scanned this okay somebody scanned this okay so what would happen it would take me to some link okay suppose some you, uh, some it would take me to some link that is the admin to some link and automatically the user would be verified automatically the ticket would then expire okay so that's what actually happens in cinema halls like right one guy actually scans the ticket and then after that your ticket is not usable so that's what we are going to do we are just going to create a url on load of this url we'll ask for the details stored inside this qr code so we have different kind of websites which which actually provide qr code generator we don't need to worry about this okay we'll just provide some data so what we are going to do is inside this qr code we are just going to store some token okay some token of the ticket details that's it and what we will do once the everything is done i would just expire that token that's what we are going to do for the qr part okay this is going to be very fun and then after that we have one more option to cancel the show and then i would ask for re refund different kind of things okay so this is just an overview of the things which we are going to cover in this project and we are going to take reference from book my show website and uh, you can watch day 3 and day 4 of the blog project which we want to cover okay so these are all the things i which i wanted to tell you in the initial introduction part definitely we are going to build the complete ui and things like that so first of all what stack we are going to use we are going to use merge stack but in merge stack everything is fine but we are going to use react js right 
so for react js right now react js is not recommended like if you are using plain react js it's not recommended instead of that you have to use some other framework related to it like for example i can use next js okay i'll use next js for it so if you are not familiar with next js but you are familiar with react js then that's totally fine because they are almost same there is no big difference between them okay it's just that in next js you mostly use typescript instead of javascript typescript is javascript with some data type okay that is integer string and different kind of things so everything is same it's just that you are upgrading your level up if you don't know next js okay if you don't know next js that's totally fine i'm going to teach you next js along with the code and you'll understand everything okay that's what we we, uh, we do similar in the previous videos like for example we did in the blog application we actually covered the next js part right so we instead of react js we covered next js that is some better option than react js and if you visit react js website first of all right now you must be wondering that why is it called mern stack it's called mern stack but if you visit the react js website okay so we have I think if I search for React JS, it would give me the main website. So you can see this is the React dot dev main website. If you just go to reference and just a minute, okay. Are we using dummy data for movie and cinema hall locations for fetching data from external APIs? I think there is an API named as cinema DB, but I don't think so. It would be providing us everything. Uh, instead of that, we will be providing our own data. Okay, but I'll see. I'll see. I have to look for the exact API. But for reference, we are gonna use cinema DB API. Or you can. We can actually go for. It. Rapid API inside Rapid API, you will get different kind of thing. Let's see, let's see what else do we have. So first is the movies database, and it would actually give me options for streaming kind of movies. It's not actually for booking kind of things. If I wanna get posters and just some latest data for that, also I can use this. But still, I have to save data in my database. You can see that we have this. Okay. Uh, yes, we can actually use this API movies database or we are going to check this uh, other ones also But I have to check for the API specific API right now. I haven't planned for using any API I would be using my manual data. Okay, that means I would be providing data from admin side Okay, we are going to create admin panel also for your information So admin panel is also going to be very important with some admin rights, right? So that's important and you can see yeah, this is the movie database which I was talking about so you you can check out different APIs, but I'm going to use my own data. Okay, I'm going to put my own data from the back end side, from the admin panel side and from front end, I'm going to get the latest data. Okay, it's like that. So that's it. And now let's talk about the React. So you can see whenever you are visiting this website of react.dev, when you, when, when you visit to the installation part, it itself recommends now you have to use Next.js. Okay, instead of Next.js, if you want to use Remix, you can use Remix, Gatsby or uh, this is for react native okay create expo app different kind of things but we are gonna use next js okay next js sir thoda volume tej kariye i think my audio is fine please if everyone is facing the same issue please mention that okay let me just increase my volume okay anyways right i think now it's loud enough i have just increased the volume a bit more Okay, fine. Sir, aapki voice slow aari hai. Right, I think now it's fine. I've increased my voice a bit more. Right, so we're gonna first of all install our Next.js application. So please make sure Node.js is installed. So I'll just go to Node.js.org. You can just install the long term support one. Okay, you can just install this LTS one. Once it's downloaded, you have to just install this. Once it's installed, everything is fine. Okay, now what you're gonna do is you can simply copy this and let's create a fresh project. Okay. So here uh, we were actually working on this folder. Okay, I'm gonna go to this and let's create a new folder. Let's name it as movie underscore proj. Okay, and now inside this, let's open VS Code. Okay, one more important thing, please install VS Code. If you don't know where to install VS Code, you can simply visit the website of VS Code. 
I'll just take you there. I'm just giving an overview what things we're gonna use. Okay, so there is no confusion. So this is VS Code. You just have to download it for whatever operation you uh, operate operating system you have. Then after that, you have the setup. Just whenever you are installing the setup, okay. If you are installing the setup, what you can do is once you install the setup, you have to check everything while installing the setup. Rest everything is fine. Okay. Once you install the setup, you just have to check everything. Okay. That's rest everything is fine. Now let's create a sample application. And what we're gonna do is I'll just open next JS application. Right now it's you can see it's empty, right? So I'll just go to my terminal and here I'm just gonna type create next app okay so let's paste this create next app and after this it would ask me for the name of the application you have to provide the name here whatever name you're gonna pick so i'll just say movie booking okay movie booking and it would use typescript definitely um we're gonna use no yes experimental app directory with this project okay we're gonna have the app directory and everything is fine okay everything is fine so you can see we're gonna use this and automatically for backend morgan or course which tool better i have personally used course and i don't think there is so much uh, like uh, like I haven't used P Morgan personally, but a lot of people actually use course. So I would go with the course also because personally a lot of projects, almost all projects have course in their um, in their projects. Okay, that means if you talk about Node.js backend, almost everyone uses course and it's easy. You just have to implement it and then you just, you just have to mention the uh, URLs, front end URL, which have allow, uh, which have access to the backend. So course is, I think, easier and makes sense okay but still i haven't personally used morgan so i'm not commenting on that but course is also great so today if i found your channel <laughs> yeah actually i don't mention my channel that much because i'm not that much active in that channel uh, due to i have a lot of work, uh, different work and gfg wale bhi chhodte nahi hai yaar paisa badao mera <laughs> okay anyways so uh, one more thing uh, so if i want to fetch external api from backend is it possible yes it's actually possible from backend you can call uh, apis different apis and it's also a good method that's what i did like when I, once i was actually creating a project which was ai based okay so what actually happens is it was a monstack project but I had to use some machine learning things also. Okay. So for that, what I did was in the Node.js backend itself, I connected one more backend for specific machine learning. That is, I built some backend in Django, like, like, like you would be using fast API or different kind of things for building machine learning things. What I did was I simply built another backend in Python Django, and then I connected it with Node.js backend. Two backends are connected to each other. That means Node.js would make an API call to Django then we'll get as a response. So you can do the same thing. You can connect another backend with your backend. So uh, similarly, you can connect another API with your API. Okay, same thing. Okay, in backend also, you're gonna call some API. So we're gonna call some API in the backend if we can, like it's not that much good for us, but let's see if we can call, if the external movie API is helpful for us, then we are going to use that API because I don't think so that would be really helpful unless you want to just get the latest movies, that's it. But apart from that, you won't be getting any API. Like for example, if you are in some city, you won't be, I think, I, I don't know that if there is an API for getting all cinemas in a city and different kind of API. So instead, that's why we are going to create our own APIs. Let's see, we'll see that if I found some API, then I'm going to use that API. But right now, I'm going to use my plain, I'll be, I'll be adding my data manually. Okay, I'll adding that, I'll be adding the data manually from the admin side and I'll get the data in the user side. Right, so I've just created it. And now let's continue. Okay. So uh, guys, one more thing. Uh, this is the front end project. So I'll just type in a CD, CD. movie booking now i'll type npm run dev okay so it would start the application in this port 
so you can see it has started here okay so net next js is very same as react js you can see it's very same okay so we have this now similarly we're gonna create our backend also okay so let's create our backend also we're just initializing things here then we're gonna end the session okay so i'll just create a new terminal okay first of all let's create a new folder here and i'll just say movie booking underscore backend okay backend and here i'm just gonna open this in integrated terminal open an integrated terminal you can see it opens like this i'm just gonna type npm in it right so for that you just have to initialize things here just everything is fine you can see my uh, backend is also initialized here okay so now let's create a file you can see by default we take the file index.js here okay so i'm just gonna create index index dot js okay index dot js uh guys one more thing i'm gonna take a reference from my previous code so what i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna show you my previous code that is available in github okay so i'll just show you that so let's go to my github profile so if you want to see my github profile you can simply type github.com slash v i r a double j zero one four then you would see me okay I look smart okay and uh, you can check out my other profiles also you can follow me on Instagram as well as you can follow me on LinkedIn okay these are my profiles now let's come here and in repositories you have to search for some name that is block 3x backend okay instead of creating backend in separate folder can we use it in API directory no 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 we actually create some separate backend because that's what we do in burn stack okay i don't know what's the case in next js like right like i think next js is also having something for the backend part but what we're gonna do is we're gonna create separate backend and then we're gonna use those apis in our next js application separate folder okay so it's always easy like you have your front end and backend separate so obviously you would be having files separately so it's less uh, like it would be definitely more secure right so here we can see that that we work we have actually created this in last project okay you can see this is block 3x backend if you don't find this what you have to do is simply search the name okay because this is backend this backend is very important we are not gonna write things manually again and again why write the authentication part again and again right so that's why it's important so here you can see let's uh, first of all go to index.js uh, we are gonna need these files at least okay then we're going to install these okay so what i'm going to do is in package.json in package.json what i'm going to do is i'll go to package.json of this one and then in dependencies i'll just copy the dependencies and i will paste my dependencies here okay i'll just paste my dependencies here rest everything is fine okay rest everything is i think fine so author license after license actually there is some dependency part anyways you can see it's fine okay so what i have to do is i have to simply first of all type npm i that would install all the dependencies in the node modules okay it would all install everything so let's wait for it then all the dependencies would be installed so we don't need to write things again and again right so by the way these are all the dependencies you can read those and you can install manually also but i would always recommend please use my github repositories as it would save a lot of time okay so even if in future you are creating some project why to write code from scratch okay so that's why we're gonna follow some copy paste method for our apis okay so that's what we're gonna do it but still if you don't understand any api logic i'm gonna explain the api logic also don't worry about this that is login sign up everything but we are gonna copy paste inside this okay so i have installed the dependencies now what i have to do is just go back to index.js i have initialized it okay i have initialized it now i'm gonna simply say we have to listen in this port so i'll just listen inside this port index.js come here okay listening to this port now what else we're gonna simply say that it is going to allow me on this course okay so i'm just simply saying that this front end url my backend would be running in some url like for example localhost 8000 
this is my front end url for next js okay so i'm gonna say this front end can access my back end okay so for that you have to define your course policy here okay that would really help and it would keep things secure okay so i'll just say that app dot use course origin and one more thing is you can also use cookie parser also because we're gonna store cookies inside uh, where we are going to store our tokens and different tokens inside our cookies so for that we would be needing cookie parser also and here i have simply said that course would allow only this origin to access my backend okay that's it else you would simply receive this error for example you are trying to use my backend from some url like geeks for geeks dot org the geeks for geeks dot org supposes front end url if you are trying to access that so you can see here it's not mentioned that means geeks for geeks dot org does not have the permission to access my backend so i would simply send the course error okay that's the benefit of using course right so now everything is fine what else i'm just gonna define it as the test okay so i'll just say that if everything is working i'll just get this api is working okay so now let's try to test this so i'll just simply type in okay so one more thing guys you have to install nodebond if you haven't already installed right now i think i have installed nodebond so it's there so i just have to type nodebond and instead of index.js if you have given some other name please check package.json with the same name okay if the name matches then that's totally fine but you can see i have index.js i have index.js so simply i can simply type nodemon okay it would automatically call index.js okay nodemon but if you have some other file name like for example app.js so you have to simply type app.js this way okay but i have index.js mentioned here and i also have index.js file here okay so i don't need to worry about this so nodemon right so it would start and you can see i'm getting some error because cookie parser is not defined okay so i have to go here and also import a few more things so you can see i have to use cookie parser also okay so i'm gonna use cookie parser i haven't imported it and now i think everything is fine let's see so you can see server running on port 8000 so this is a very basic setup of the backend part and now let's initialize the database part also okay now i'm gonna initialize the database here so what i'll do is i'll just create a specific file named as db.js okay so for initializing the data again what you can do is you can simply say here i have initialized the database it's very easy so you can see i'm just using mongoose and inside the env file we're gonna create the env file also so you just have to import it this way okay and we are going to create a .env file this file would be containing our environment variables that is the backend url different things okay so .env i have just imported it now you can see here everything is fine i'm just asking for the mongo url from env file and similarly database name from the env file if everything is fine database would be connected else you would get an error okay so let's talk about the env file so uh, we are going to create a new database for it okay so for that we can simply go to mongodb just visit mongodb atlas okay just visit mongodb atlas just sign in atlas is for cloud you don't need to download mongodb for your case right so let's go here so this project will be responsive no i am not promising that it would be responsive because like yeah first of all we have to complete the things then we can think about responsiveness okay but yeah if we get time then i'll make it responsive I'm not promising anything for that okay just saw your videos as I have to make a project for my college semester I think this will be great one such a relief okay definitely are if you have any doubts you can ask me on the live chat also and you have to if you if you are referring from my projects that's really great and if you definitely also can suggest me different updates which I can do on the same projects okay so guys here you can see I've just opened MongoDB but here initially uh, if you don't see something like this you have to simply create a project okay if you initially would see something like this if you haven't used mongodb before but i've already used and i was working on some other project so it's like that okay so here you can see we have this i just have to give the project name so i'll just say movie booking okay 3x I'm just writing 3x so that i know this is for the playlist okay and then you can see that i have to add members if you want to add different people to the database you can but definitely i only want myself to access this so i'm just going to create it this way right so guys here you can see that 
my database has been created okay if you still face any issues you can ask me but my database has been created okay with the name movie booking 3x so what i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna simply go to database okay just go to database if you don't know anything simply go to database here you will get an option of build a database okay i'm gonna build a database and here we have to choose the free option okay because grieve log hum log isliye free okay so yeah here we have aws google cloud azure so i'm just gonna pick azure and uh, here you can choose the nearest region if you want but i'll go with this because it's free okay we are going to use the free one so doesn't matter but still uh, for the fastest result okay let's go for mumbai because this is the nearest so for fastest result i'm going to choose mumbai okay and then you can give the name for this cluster so i'll just say movie db okay movie okay movie booking i'm just going to name it this way okay we booking and then you can also give some tags but anyways you can skip this okay so just create right so now we have an option for choosing username so let's choose a username here you can see i'll just choose a username j123 password be something like hi sagar how are you i'll just create the password now everything is fine after that you just have to select your ip address okay first of all i'm going to remove this automatically it would add my current ip address but if you want to add your ip address some separate ip address definitely you can i would just simply select add my current ip address so it would add my current ip address okay this might change because sometimes your ip address changes because this is temporary okay sometimes it might change so it would give error in the front end so you have to do things manually later on also you might have to change this later on okay so i'll just click on finish and close go to overview now guys you can see that everything is fine again i'll go to database just go to database you'll simply click on connect then go to compass you'll get this url okay just copy this and here just paste this okay now here you can see we are taking reference from this variable so i'm just going to say my mongo url equals this okay and now what's the password so the password is hj123 right hj123 that's it now after that one more thing we have to define a database name also so i'll just say my database name my database name would be db name would be uh let's say movie okay movie db something like this okay movie db right so i've just given this a database name everything is fine these two variables are created now let's go to index.js and connect that database okay so we have to call our database here so for that what i'm going to do is let's go back here and index.js you can see what i actually did was i simply imported i actually simply called my db file you can see i simply called my db file so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to call these to itself and so i want to host the blog app where i should host uh, for the backend part you can actually use cyclic.sh i'm talking about free people okay like if you want to host things for free so you can simply go to cyclic if you want to host backend that is node.js express part you are going to use cyclic.sh or you can use aws but aws would ask for credit card and different kind of things if you bypass that then you would get for free one year of access i think you can use aws also but for easiest thing you can directly use cyclic.sh it's the easiest like it won't take you any effort to just push the backend inside this very easy to use okay so you can push the backend here and for the front end you can actually use vercel that's how you can host one stack application you can see i hosted a lot of different applications okay so it's very great and you can use it and it's also fast okay you don't feel you won't feel any delay in this okay and this might feel a little bit slow because this is free backend and you might feel a little bit slow but if you are getting things for free then that's totally fine can you please increase the computer screen size okay i'll increase that I hope now it's visible enough. Okay, I've just increased the font here also, and I'll increase the font of VS Code also. Just wait. Okay, so this is done. Database part is done. Now we're gonna simply, you can see, we're gonna copy this require dot env config and db. That is that is uh, that is uh, index.js is also now allowed to use dot env 
and also index.js is now using the db file that means this file would automatically run okay so now you can see i'm getting in uh, a success message that is connected to database okay since it's connected it's connected to database okay so you can see the front end part is done and uh, sorry the back end part is just initialized and this is the front end part okay so we have just covered a very basic introduction and then i just set up the project from next video what we're gonna do is we are gonna work inside this project and we're gonna start with the authentication different kind of front end things okay so i think first of all let's complete the front end part then from referring that we're gonna complete the back end part but i would recommend Please guys, uh, if you don't know React.js, please watch some tutorials. You can check out the channel also. And if you don't know Node.js Express MongoDB part, please watch it somewhere. You can check out our channel. It it has 15 days of backend playlist available in the Geeks for Geeks development channel. You can find that. And if you are comfortable completely with Mustang, then you can follow these projects. Because I'm not teaching things from scratch. But if you are new to Next.js, if you know React.js, but if you are new to Next.js, then I'm gonna teach Next.js because it's just a few different between those rest everything is same okay so we are going to ne use next.js in this project as front end i'm going to teach you everything about next.js that's required for this project don't worry about this okay you won't face any problems here right so after this what we're going to do is i'm going to share my complete source code every day i'm going to upload my source code on this github profile so i'll just upload today's code also okay so let's say my code name is movie booking underscore we booking 3x uh, okay so this is for the front end i'm just gonna upload my front end here uh, and let's say it's public and let's upload it so guys right now i'm sharing my env file also i'll be sharing my env file also but it's not recommended later on i'll delete that all uh, or different kind of thing okay i'll delete okay let's do one thing okay let's do one thing here i'm gonna add a git ignore file so that i don't have any issues later on okay i'm not gonna upload my env file so that i'm secure okay so i'll just create a git ignore file git ignore file and here i'm just gonna mention dot env and also i'm not gonna upload node modules so i'll just say that in same folders uh, in same folder i have node underscore modules okay i think now it won't be uploaded so now first of all let's talk about the front end part so you can see my front end is here i'm gonna close my front end i'm gonna upload my front end okay so I'll just simply paste the things here and first of all I'm gonna say git add dot git ignore okay let's finish that okay I think this is fine and now let's see it here if okay in the front end I don't have the git ignore file anyways we don't have any specific things inside the git ignore file let's see what do we have okay if you don't want to upload this node modules definitely you would be mentioning it like this in the front end part okay i'm just mentioning it the front end part you don't need to do anything like this okay just just skip okay just skip yeah i'm just uploading the code later i'm sharing the code just a minute okay everything is fine let's go back and again if i type git add dot okay and you can see everything is fine git commit dash m and let's say message is day one git push so the source code for the front end is pushed you would see it here movie booking 3x now let's create the back end part also upload the back end part also i'm just saying movie booking 3x underscore backend okay let's create this sir can i put these projects in my resume definitely you can and you can put i would always say pick some three four projects whatever are your best one please put that okay it's not like this project is good this project is bad the best projects must always be kept in resume you must not pass all your resume projects like you are not going to pass every project which you have created in your resume because resume has some space okay and it's recommended almost all companies most of the companies need one page resume okay so if you are opting for one page resume then please mention some limited amount of projects i, I would say that four or five projects would be better 
like uh, maximum four or five projects are great you can mention four or five project links there and that's great for mentioning in resume okay so here uh, again we want to upload the backend also so i'll just upload the backend also Okay, so first of all, I'm uploading the gitignore file inside gitignore file of the back and I simply said that don't upload these two folders or files. And what's the issue here? Untracked files. Okay. Dot git ignore didn't match any name. Okay. Sorry guys. It must be inside this. Okay. I'll do the same things again. Okay. Now it's uploaded. Okay, now I'll push my backend git add dot git commit m day one git push. Okay, guys, so I have uploaded my backend code also. So now to access the code, what you have to do is you can simply first of all visit my github profile okay here you just have to type github.com slash vira double j014 okay just visit my profile you can follow me here and you can check out my instagram profile or linkedin profile also now after this just go to the repositories and here you would find burn booking a movie booking 3x backend movie booking 3x okay this is for the front end and this is for the back end okay so you would find the complete source code here and daily i would be uploading the source code on every day okay on every live stream okay guys so that's it for today it's just an introduction and some setup part from next video we'll be starting with the front end part covering the complete front end part okay so i hope you understood this video if you have any doubts you can ask me anytime and definitely it would be fun to build this project okay so that's it for today 